Well, we uh, got some chainsaws. <laughs> We've been growing the chainsaw collection for the videos. Um, let me just, I'm just going to say right off the rip, $115 Amazon saw. Uh, what a, a machine. 68cc is what they claim. It actually is very, very powerful. 62cc, $85 Amazon saw with a uh, discount I found it. Um, absolute ripper. Best starting saws out of this entire bunch. The two Amazon saws have easy start systems, so they just fire right up immediately. Boom, right now. Even when they're cold, they start up faster than any of the other ones because of their easy start system that they have. I would say the Husk Varnia is second. Um, it starts the easiest out of the bunch. Next, I would say would be the Ryobi 37cc. Um, and then would be the Echo. And then or Earthquake, but some people say it's actually a Husky that is made by the same. I don't know. I think somebody said Husk Varnia makes Poland and Husky and Earthquake and all of them. Um, this is the hardest starting one out of the group because even though this is a 59cc, it seems like it's the most powerful. It has the most compression. It actually has a compression brake on it. So I just pushed it in, the compression brake. And on the first startup, when it goes to hit, it'll actually pop the compression brake back out. Uh, just to make it easier to start but it's it's uh you can kill it with that as well it's pretty rough um okay so back back to where i was this i think the best starting saws out of the bunch are by far the amazon saws 62 cc 85 bucks 68 cc 115 dollars and they are rippers just right out the gate i'm just going to tell you right now they they start easy they 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 are great saws uh for what they're worth now let's go hmm. this is the baddest of the bunch this is the timberwolf the cs 590 timberwolf now that is a that's a professional it's like more of a professional grade type saw it is a son of a gun high compression works very very well very well put together um the fastest saw to cut is the Ryobi. I took the guard off the end of it, and I got some videos I'm going to throw in here at the end for the small bore saw stuff. Um, the Ryobi, it just, it just rips right through, just like butter. Whoa! It seems like it has better RPM than these other ones. The 3510 Echo is okay. I wasn't a huge fan of it. The 38 CC Earthquake Husky, whatever rebrand. Um... I'm not a huge fan of this. This is like probably last for me. The most comfortable saw out of this whole entire bunch. The Husqvarna. The Husqvarna 440. I just feel like it's the most comfortable. The least vibration I feel overall. I got to give it to that. So if I was going to pick one of these saws for the overall homeowner where you didn't have to break the bank. They got these remanufactured or whatever reconditioned on um, eBay. Like 258 bucks for a 440, or you can go up to the 450 or 460, which are even bigger uh, bore, and spend a little bit more money. But I think overall, for a very very well balanced homeowner that wants to do some tree trimming, limbs, cut up some firewood or whatever, that Husqvarna 440 is the best bet. If you were looking for something that you just wanted to go out and just rip up and didn't really care about breaking the bank, I'd get that 85 dollar. 62 cc ch chainsaw right there that son of a gun super super impressive out of this whole bunch i'm more impressed with the two amazon saws than i are i am any of them because they were the cheapest and they do the most amount of work that's 68 or w right along with this timber wolf that 68 cc right there is a mother thumper that's professional grade but i was really impressed with that and the more i used it the better it got the 62cc right there behind it. This, just a monster. For it being only a 20 inch bar and 59cc, that is a that is a hell of a saw right there. Um, the little ones, wasn't super impressed with the little ones, but I do like the Ryobi better than any of them. The most comfortable, 440. The Husqvarna sits in the middle of, this is the biggest bore, that's 68cc. 62 cc 
59 cc 40.9 cc 38 cc 37 cc and 35 cc yeah in that order is what it's supposed to be the one in the middle of the Husqvarna 440 is my pick of the of the overall most beneficial can cut through big stuff and can cut through small stuff and it's very very comfortable that's where I'm at right now I'll throw some a couple videos in here of throwing some stuff together for you and then you can kind of come up with your own decision on that thanks guys love you all be blessed real quick I did call up uh I think it's John Jim John John's Pro Tree Service he's the one that actually did some work for us to raise our umbrella of our big oak tree here the one that I want to get rid of um and I asked him if he'd come out in a couple weeks after me and I'm going to Vegas. I'll be gone next week. And then he's going to Vegas after that for his like birthday or something like that. And he'll be gone for a week. I said, well, how about this? After me and you both get back from Vegas, you come out here. You're the professional. You've been running your business for a long time. And I'll pay you to come out here and run these chainsaws on some hardwood. And let us know what you think about them, being the professional that you are. And he said, okay, all right, let's set something up. Let's get an appointment going here. And I'd love to do that. So we're going to have a professional come out and actually run these. Let's get to the videos. So I kind of built this <laughs> little stack of wood apparatus last night. And uh, it's all screwed together so I can try it in sections. And I can move the screws down if I need to. Um, yeah. It's about $60 worth of wood. So uh, <laughs> expensive testing, right? To just go on the ground and go right in the garbage. But anyhow. Um, we're going to get that together, and we're going to be trying out the new saws. We're going to try out the new Echo, the new Ryobi, the Timberwolf. Maybe we'll, do, we'll do, go through and do a nice light sliver of all of them, and I'll give you my feedback on it. I talked to a guy that's been in the business for years and years and years. He's been running his own company in this area for... 30 plus years cutting trees he's the one to come out here and raise the umbrella of this big over 100 year old maple it's back here it's absolutely massive it's the biggest one in the neighborhood um and we want to take it down um so i called him up and i said hey if i pay you you're you're the professional i'm not the professional i just like playing around with this stuff would you come out here in like a couple weeks i'm gonna when i get back from vegas and uh, could I pay you to come out here and, and work with me for a couple hours and let's shoot like a 30 minute video on chainsaws? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I could do that. But he said, let's do it in like two weeks because when you come back from Vegas, I'm going to be leaving for Vegas. So we're going to get into this. We're going to start with probably the Ryobi. Somebody told me that the Polins, the Ryobis, the couple of the other ones, the Huskies or something, they're all made by like Husqvarna or something like that. It's like a they're cheaper production or something I, I don't really know anyhow what I thought about doing is let's go ahead and get this fired up and let's get to work all right we have uh, we're gonna use the little guy this is the CS 3510 echo and we're gonna give it a shake again we did a run in the beginning of the video let's do it again Come on. This is a Ryobi RY3714, 14 inch, 37cc, and the chain adjusted a little bit.
I think it's people are saying it says earthquake, but it's a husky. 38 cc. Let's give it a go. Husqvarna 440. It's not considered a small class saw, but it is a small bore engine, so it's a 40.9 cc. I'm going to run it. Changes it up. Out of the Husqvarna 440, the 3510 Echo, the Husky Earthquake, and the Ryobi. I feel like the Ryobi actually cuts the fastest, and it has seems to have a better RPM to it. It seems to have a better um, better feel to it for speed. If you were just trying to get something to go. It's only a 37cc, but it actually feels like it's got a little bit more power than the Husqvarna, which is kind of odd. Because that Ryobi, it just cuts. It just, whoa, right through. Where the Husqvarna, when you're letting it, takes a little bit. The Husqvarna definitely feels better overall. Power-wise, and how fast it cuts through just on its own accord, and they're all brand new chains, I gotta give it to the Ryobi. Comfort wise, how easy it is for the user, how easy it is to maintain and everything else. Oh. Hmm. Husqvarna. But I definitely feel like, I definitely feel like that Ryobi, it does have a smaller bar too and it has to, it's moving less mass. So, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit of a, the Ryobi definitely seems like it cuts through faster, but the Husqvarna overall is more comfortable. Coming in behind them, I would say, is the Echo 3510, and then behind that would be the Husky Earthquake. Just, it doesn't feel like it has the power. It doesn't. Well, that's my take on the small bore saws, and you will have to stay for the other video for the big bore saws.